three minutes each round to decide the undisputed middleweight championship of the world, sponsored by Death Trump. Presenting from Crawley, England, the champion, The challenger, marvelous Marvin Hedler. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, this match was made at 11 stone 6 pounds, and at the weigh-in today, Minter scaled 11 stone 5 and 3 quarter pounds. Hedler, 11 stone 6 pounds exactly. Your referee for this contest is Mr. Carlos Berrao of Panama. Your judges, Mr. Marcello Bertini of Italy and Mr. Jose Guerra of Mexico. And your timekeeper, Mr. Jeffrey Williams. So the preliminaries are over. And to a great barrage of sound now, they come to the center of the ring and you can see already how much taller Minter is than the challenger. Hagler really is quite short for a middleweight. He can't be much more than about five foot nine. Minter's second defense of the undisputed World Middleweight Championship. The only title in the whole of professional boxing that is undisputed. Hagler will face Minter Round and one. the crowd. the shaven-headed American challenger, known early on in his career as the Toy Bull. Clearly a dangerous opponent, and Minter is going to be the governor from the start if he can make it. Hagler had a few problems today at the weigh-in. He scaled three ounces over the 11 stone six limit and he took it off in about half an hour. How much that will affect him psychologically, no one knows but Hagler. Two southpaws. Hagler already firing quickly and accurately with his own right hand. He catches Minter with the left foot. And again. And this promises to be the war we thought it might be. Hagler is said not to be so good if you get him under pressure. Mint has got a cut underneath his left eye. Within a minute of the start, Minter is cut. and the stinging effect of Hagler's punching is already apparent on the champion's face. It's the southpaw right lead from Hagler that's done that. down to business very, very quickly. And Minter is being drawn into some very fierce exchanges early on. title he believes he deserves. <laughs> it's finished to the round by Minter.
centre, but he picks up damage in the first minute, and it looks to me as though he might have a second injury, as well as the one underneath, underneath the left eye. So, the champion, after only three minutes, needs somewhat urgent attention in that corner, and that's entirely due to the sharp and accurate punching of the challenger Hagler. The shaven-headed challenger. From Brockton, Massachusetts, which of course was the home of the late and great Rocky Marciano. Born in the slums and ghettos of Newark, New Jersey, he moved to Brockton, Massachusetts when he was 16 years old. Now Minter, marked underneath the left eye, and there may be damage elsewhere. indeed look quite marked around the left eye. This is no trouble, but he hasn't suffered from it lately. It just shows the immensity of the performance in front of him. Hagler is catching him with lefts over the top as well. This is a very determined and dangerous challenger. Good punch from Minter. What a right hand. Pulled the man up in his tracks. And this is certainly one of the most savage world championships we've seen here in this country for a long time. This is a fight to a finish. And that finish is never going to be 15 rounds away at this rate. Never. Minter bleeding. Bleeding from the nose. And these two have felt the weight of each other's punches already. And Minter is picking up quite a lot of punishment as he tries to move in. the most savage attacks at each other and we're only six minutes into the fight that really was a very fierce round indeed and Minter's face bears testimony to the savagery of this fight he's cut underneath the left eye he's got marks above the He's cut underneath the left eye, he's got marks above the left eye, his nose is bleeding. And really, he has taken more punishment in the, in the first two rounds of this fight than in several recent fights put together. Hagler, unmarked, but occasionally felt the weight of Minter's punching and didn't seem to like it too much. One punch absolutely pulled him up dead in his tracks. Well, the man promised a war. He said the title was rightfully his, and he was coming to get it. And he certainly is trying that. And Minter is going to have to pull out the fight of his life to win this.
Minton now got a mark underneath the right eye, one underneath the left eye. And we haven't seen Minter looking this mark for a very long time indeed. All his 60 feet, Minter, have always come through facial injury. Never been beaten on points, never been stopped by punches, always on cuts. Nose bleeding as well. And Hagler is looking a very sharp and dangerous puncher. And Minter now bleeding above the left eye. So that's the third one that's appeared. Hagler's head rubbing in against him. Carlos Berica, Berica the Panamanian referee, having trouble keeping them apart. picking up hard punches as he tries to fight back. He's being forced into a real war. He's smothered in blood, Minter, and he's in desperate trouble in the third round. He can't keep the man away. Hagler will not be denied. And Minter's left eye is in real trouble, and the referee stops it so that they can have a look at it. It is a really very bad cut over Minter's left eye, and it stopped. It stopped in the third round, and Hagler's on his knees, acclaiming his victory. He said he was the rightful champion, and he's won it in three rounds. And people are throwing beer cans, one's landed on me. Beer cans are being hurled in all over the ring. There's a fight started over Hagler. Somebody's attacking him. And there is chaos here, absolute chaos. I'm smothered in beer, so are all my colleagues around me. And people are trying to take Hagler. Police are trying to move into the ring to protect Hagler. Oh, I've been struck on the head by a bottle. And this is the worst scenes we've ever seen at Wembley in any boxing ring in this country. It's absolute chaos. The crowd are mad with this. And clearly they're accusing Hagler of using his head against Minter and causing Minter to lose the world title. And the rage has broken out all around Wembley. And these scenes are a shame and a disgrace to British boxing. But there it is, that's what's happening. And we've all taken our share of it around the ringside, I can tell you. So, less than, less, less than three rounds it took for Hagler to win. And after that, all the hell broke loose of Wembley. It was not pleasant, I can tell you.